we tried everything, all right? We baked him a cake, we bought him a present, we even gave him a chainsaw, you know, so we could finally deal with that damn tree. Did everything we could to wish Kirby a happy birthday. He ate everything we sat in front of him. I mean, who eats a chainsaw? I'll tell you who. The adorable pink fatty with the most indestructible stomach in the history of gaming. It's Kirby's 20th anniversary, and since you can't eat a countdown, well, this was our last resort. These are the top 10 Kirby games of all time. Why don't you eat this, fatso? It's only fitting to start things off with a game that started it all. Released for the original Game Boy in 1992, Dreamland was Kirby's grand debut, and its inventive take on traditional platforming was a huge hit with Game Boy fans. Now, Kirby was still in his formative stages, and he wouldn't get that ability to steal an enemy's powers until his next game, but Dreamland was still a great platformer with lots of fresh ideas. This game marked the beginning of a new era for Kirby, as well as its end. Perhaps polygons were the one thing Kirby couldn't stomach. But if you ignore the fact that it's simple even for Kirby standards, and you know it precipitated the series' decade-long absence from home consoles, Kirby 64 isn't as bad as people say. In fact, this is an awesome little 2.5D platformer, and the ability to combine Kirby's power-ups into these crazy new ones gives the game its own unique hook. Let's be honest, this game had every reason to suck. Most games with 11-year development cycles across multiple systems do. But something crazy happened when Kirby finally returned to Dreamland. It did not suck. In fact, it was awesome. Return to Dreamland was the more traditional counterpoint to the Wii's epic yarn, a sort of yin and yang that made the Wii the best home console for Kirby games ever. Unlike some franchises, Kirby games have always been just as good on handhelds as home consoles. That's where he got started, and in fact, that's where he's thrived. One example of the many is Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Borrowing Zelda's Four Swords concept, its mixture of classic Kirby, maze-like level design, and linked-up multiplayer made it an instant favorite on the Game Boy Advance. Kirby tends to be at his best when he's innovating and trying new things. Nintendo knows it too, as they've never been afraid to experiment with him. Even if it means splitting him into a million tiny pieces a la Mike TV. Kirby would have never made it through the chocolate factory. Kirby Mass Attack was a very late arrival on the Nintendo DS, released about six months after the launch of the 3DS. So as a result, this one sort of flew under the radar only made its surprises more awesome. You don't inhale enemies or take their abilities. Instead, you pummel them with the might of 10 Kirbys. It's a beautiful thing. Its daring design choices represent the Kirby series at its best. Speaking of Kirby at his best, come back for part two for his top five and the uh, epic conclusion of our countdown of the top 10 Kirby games of all time.